Hey yo interneters, welcome back to Oh it looks like I need to shave. Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another pin spinning video and so for today we'll be learning how to do the double thumb around reverse. And I believe someone suggested that I learned this pin trick a while back. I'm talking like a long long time ago. But I couldn't find the comment as I was sorting through all of the hundreds of comments throughout the whole video and I couldn't find it. But if you're still watching my video, please leave a comment down below that you were the one that suggested and I'll pin your comment to the, you know, video. So that way that will make up for it, hopefully. Other than that, with all that being said, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I actually know how to do the double thumb around already. Now it's just the reverse version of it. And so with all of that, let's just get right into it. And so that's pretty much how the double thumb around reverse looks like. It's literally the reverse version of the double thumb around. And so to break down what you just saw, basically what happened was that was a combination of a reverse thumb around into a fingerless thumb around. And a fingerless thumb around isn't that good, but it's still manageable. So yeah, basically what that means is you kind of got to know how to do the reverse thumb around and the fingerless reverse thumb around for this video. So with all of that, now we're actually set to begin learning the double thumb around reverse. So when I first started practicing for the double thumb around reverse, I didn't go straight into actually trying to learn how to do the pin trick. I said I was doing the thumb around reverse and then catch it, pause, do a fingerless thumb around reverse. So the idea behind doing the thumb around reverse and the fingerless thumb around reverse one after the other was just to get the feel for it and get it comfortable and adjust it with my hand since I didn't pin spin for like I think two weeks. And so yeah, that's pretty much the goal behind it all. Right after I did that about 10 times, I kind of went ahead and I was like, well, let's just do it without catching it and see if I could do it like consecutive right after the other without that pause. And well, yeah, here's what happened. So would you look at that? Look at that. See, I'm already done. Like that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's like the best like double thumb around reverse I can ever do. Hands down. First attempt. Like yeah, video shoot in here. Yeah, that always happens to me for some reason. And so I wasn't able to replicate the double thumb around again. I think that first trick was, or me being able to do it the first time ever, was like the luckiest thing that ever happened to me in my life. But, you know, it's not a complete waste of time because I managed to understand how the pin trick slightly worked a little bit more. So what I mean by that is I was able to actually get the fingerless thumb around to go around my thumb a second time right after the thumb around reverse. Basically, here's what I'm talking about. When you do the reverse thumb around, your pins ends up in this position. And when your pin ends up in this position, it's very hard for you to do the fingerless thumb around reverse. Because when you're doing the fingerless thumb around reverse, your pin has to be somewhere around this position to do it. But it's up here. And so I mentioned earlier that I managed to get the pin to go around my thumb halfway after the reverse thumb around. And I was able to do it because when I do the reverse thumb around and right when the pin gets about right here, I move up my thumb like this. And when I move up my thumb like this, it kind of push the pin against right here and it kind of swing the pin back into my thumb like this to complete the half circle. So yeah, I haven't really figured out fully how to get the fingerless thumb around to go around my thumb right after the thumb around reverse. But I kind of feel like I'll get there soon because I'm kind of like on it. The only problem is I can't do it consistently enough to actually get the feel for it yet. But now I'll just have to dedicate some time to figuring out how to fully get the fingerless thumb around reverse to go around my thumb. So yeah, I guess we're going back to practicing that. So in those couple of hours, I think I kind of figured it out, like what I need to do. Like I'd make my usual adjustment, right? Like change the angle of how I spin the pin, the amount of power I use to spin the pin around my thumb, so on and so forth, right? And so here's what I figured out. The first thing I adjusted was how I held the pin. Before, I was just holding it like all the way down here. 
you know and then eventually I adjust it to like somewhere right here and stuff like that and, and it was just I pretty much didn't pay attention to how it held the pin really but I started to play around with how I hold the pin and I started to find this one sweet spot for me that works and it's basically this is the um, center gravity of the pin indicated by this line right here and from there I kind of hold it down by the halfway point from here to here it's like the halfway point almost with my thumb and my middle finger and from there my index finger rests slightly below the center of gravity of this pin pretty much that's the position I change my hand into so I always hold it like this now and then from there I would do the next move that I adjusted which is the how much force I use to spin and now I kind of use a pretty hard push to spin the pin around to do the thumb around reverse so that one that one wasn't too hard but yeah I, I started to like spin it very hard um, and that one kind of helped and from there basically um, I, I build up a lot of muscle memory so when I do the thumb around reverse right when it gets here I lift up the pin and as the pin spin around here I kind of reach out with my thumb right when the pin gets about right here I reach out my thumb and I do like a push and then from there it would add a fingerless thumb around to it so really that those two the last thing I was talked about which was the lift and then the push really is from the muscle memory developed over the hours that I practiced this but really the only two things I, I really adjust was how I held the pin and how much force I used to push the pin and so yeah with those slight adjustment it helped me out I'm not sure if it will help you out of course you can always play around with the adjustments like you know changing the angles and the power to fit your need and your pin mod because you know every pin mod is slightly different and so yeah that kind of worked out for me well and I would say that I managed to get the double thumb around reverse down And so I was able to learn the double thumb around reverse in a total of 6 hours and 11 minutes. Is it? Yes, it's 11 minutes. I didn't think it would take me this long to learn the pin trick because I already know how to do the double thumb around to begin with. I thought it would be slightly easier, but I guess it wasn't for me and it didn't work out that way. And so that's pretty much all I have for today. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.